Hello, this is Pastor Ken Carlson with some more on the carol, I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. After losing his first wife during a miscarriage, after losing his first daughter, after losing his second wife to a tragic fire, we can understand why Henry Wadsworth Longfellow would want to protect his family and his heart from further tragedy. In 1861, the year his second wife died, the United States was torn apart by civil war. Henry wanted to keep his oldest son, Charlie, from joining the Union Army, but two years later, Charlie enlisted against his father's wishes. In November 1863, Longfellow received a telegram that Charlie had been shot in the face. Actually, the bullet hit his back, nicking his spine. With an anxious heart, Henry went searching for Charlie and finally brought him home for a long recuperation. I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day is a much more powerful carol with the two stanzas usually omitted. Compare these words to the tension and violence in our own culture today. Then from each black accursed mouth, the cannon thundered in the south, and with the sound, the carols drowned of peace on earth, goodwill to men. The Civil War not only tore apart the country, but it divided communities and families. It was as if an earthquake rent the hearthstones of a continent and made forlorn the households born of peace on earth, goodwill to men. No wonder Longfellow wrote, And in despair I bowed my head, There is no peace on earth, I said, For hate is strong and mocks the song Of peace on earth, good will to men. Despite all the discord and hate, Longfellow couldn't escape the promise of peace on earth. Longfellow was quoting from the King James Bible of his own era. The refrain is what the angel said to the shepherds about the birth of Jesus. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. More recent translations from Luke chapter 2 say, Peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Peace is offered to those with whom God is pleased. What does it take to please God? Jesus said that it is found in believing in him, allowing his peace, not hate, to rule in our hearts. The baby in the manger of Bethlehem would someday rule as the Prince of Peace. That is why, despite personal tragedy, despite national turmoil, Longfellow could conclude, Then peal the bells more loud and deep, God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail, With peace on earth, good will to men.